Welcome back to Empowerment Nursing. I'm Ashley and I am a nurse educator and you are tuning into our weekly application of In the Know where we make it simple. Today we are applying our Facebook Live the top three tips to pass your NCLEX or CPNRE exam. So here's our question this week. Um, you can read the content below, put your answer in the comments and then watch the remainder of the video to get the right rationale. So our question is, a patient who is in hypovolemic shock has the following clinical signs. A pulse of 120 beats per minute, blood pressure of 75 over 55, and urinary output of 20 mils per hour. After administering an IV fluid bolus of normal saline, which of these signs, if noted by the healthcare provider, is the best indication of improved perfusion? Um, let's stop right there. So let's look at our question. Um, pulse of 120 beats per minute is too high. A normal pulse rate is 60 to 100. Blood pressure of 75 over 55 is too low. Normal blood pressure is 100 to 139 over 60 to 89. And urinary output of 20 mils per hour is too low because normal urinary output should be a minimum of 30 mils per hour. Um, so having that knowledge aside, content, right? Um, our options for our correct answer are A, systolic blood pressure increases to 80 over 60. B, right atrial pressure increases. C, urinary output increases to 30 mils per hour. Or D, the pulse drops to 100 beats per minute. Um, if you have our textbook, for those of you who have already purchased our program, you can find the right answer to this question in both the urinary chapter as well as the body balance chapter of your textbook. Um, so a non-changing concept, the best always indicator of increased um, tissue perfusion is urinary output. The correct answer here is C, urinary output increasing to 30 mils per hour. And that is because if you think of your kidneys as the two little garbage men that take out the trash in your body, if you don't have enough circulatory volume, the kidneys will simply shut off the taps and you will not have urinary output because the kidneys are trying to retain the fluid volume that you need. If your kidney output, urinary, urinary output increases to 30 mils per hour, that tells us that the kidneys have decided you have adequate tissue perfusion um, you've come back into homeostasis in terms of your body fluid balance so um, the best indicator is urinary output being 30 mils per hour so non-changing concept always the best indicator of fluid volume resuscitation is adequate urinary output that will never change question to question to question um, so for the answer to this question and more and for all concepts simplified for your registration exam please check out our complete study packages we do guarantee you will pass or we will give you your money back. Um, thank you so much for joining me for this week's test question and I will see you next time.